over there. Welcome to whiskey. Whiskey is Italian. Did I tell you I'm also into whiskeys? <laughs> well, knew you fucking can. I've got a few delights here for you to sample with me. Here on my cask. Well, my oak and sherry cask. So yeah, here's a little bit of a... <clears throat> here's a wee bit of backstory to why I even think about whiskies as a as a dram. So it all started when I was a, a wee bairn. I used to drink whiskey. <clears throat> I used to drink whiskey to get fucking hammered. And it certainly did the trick. So that evidently meant that whenever I even thought about the word whiskey, <laughs> I'd feel sick. Uh, so yeah, so... I used to drink it to get pissed, and it, it totally put me off whiskey until fairly recently, a couple of years ago, uh, I happened upon a, a bottle of Drambuey, and someone had recommended Glaver. So they're both on special, I bought both, both contained whiskey. They were amazing, actually, really, really nice but far too sweet. And I was like, I'd like a little bit of sweetness in me drink, but not overly sweet, like the, they both were. Um, so I started doing a bit of research what I should move on to, and the second, well not actually the first, single malt, is it a single malt? I hope I'm seeing the correct info here. The first single malt I bought was Ockentoshan, and what a whiskey that was. <laughs> really, really nice. Little bit of vanilla. Tiniest touch of smoke, if any. Just a perfect ease into the world of whiskey, which is where I am now. So, yeah, so this is just a little introduction uh, into me whiskey reviews. Because, yeah, I also, as well as having fragrances, I've got loads of whiskies as well. Not so many anymore because I've drank a few of them. But I'm going to start you off, because I don't have Ockentosh and I did absolutely devour that in a, less than a week. I think it was 70 CL. But yeah, that was on, whatever decent single malt is on special, I uh, now buy. From Sainsbury's or Tesco or wherever's got it. We'll have a little look. Anything below 25 is a insta-buy. Insta so yeah, what was the second one? Oh yeah. So Ockentoshan was the lead in, and it was good, really good. The second whiskey that I bought was this baby right here, which is Abelara. Abelara. And it was the 10 year old, yeah, the 10 years old. Single malt, uh, Scotch whiskey, a classic Spearside single malt. I sort of learnt about the different uh, grains and malts and stuff that go into these. And Spearside is the easiest on the palate I found, and I believe Eilir. This will all make sense later, hopefully, if you try them. Eilir is absolutely chock a block with delicious smoke, smoky peat. But yeah, look at the boxes on these. Cylindrical, awesome, nice little tin cap there. Abalowa Distillery. I heard a rumour as well that if you drink this one, and you take it to the village of Abalawa in Scotland, they actually fill it up for you, for free, I think. So you can tell me if that's true or if that's absolutely false. So yeah, as, it, as you can see, there's absolutely zilch in there. Uh, I developed this one as well. So the Abalawa 10 was what I thought was the me instant favourite. It's beautiful. Um, I'll get on to why it's... It's still up there, but uh, I don't know if I can see that. 
recall. There's not enough to, to gather. But it was lovely. That was vanilla -y as well. It was like a vanilla -y, tiny, tiniest touch of smoke. If see, for me, this is not smoky, but some people say it is. This is a brilliant whiskey. It's so smooth. It, it's just perfect for after a long day's work. You come home, gets you about eight o'clock. You're winding down. A glass of this, no ice. Remember. I'll show you how to drink whiskey in a second. Um, no ice, so little little glass of this, a touch of water, tiniest touch, opens it up and you can taste all the vanilla and the tiniest spiciness, the smokiness, and even fruit. It's like a tiny, it is, it is fruity, yeah, it is. Uh, actually, it's got here <coughs> colour gold, nose, the dry, fresh, fruity aromas of early autumn apples and pears. I suppose there was a bit of apple, I didn't get much pear, I think. Uh, vanilla and mint toffee, I did get toffee actually, or a caramel flavour, yeah. So yeah, so, <clears throat> great whiskey to start you off. And this actually will be my review of Abelow. If one is, sorry, but actually Tesco own brand and then Jameson's, which I, I rate very lowly. This is an easy six and a half seven, and it's actually easy to drink. So, if you're planning on getting into whiskies, I highly recommend Avalawa ten years. That's just a, a great starter off, starter offer. So yeah, so I class that as me Avalawa and whiskey introduction. Avalawa, decent whiskey. Give it a go if you're planning on trying a whiskey. It's 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 easy. So yeah, thanks for watching, um, and hopefully, I didn't offend you with my Scottish accent. See you in the next one. I mean, see you in the next one. <laughs>